Hello. So uh, thanks so much for watching my video. Um, if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. And if you're interested in me critiquing your Etsy shop, there's a link in the description that you can click on and it will take you to my fiber gig where you can go ahead and make the purchase. So if you're interested in that, take a look. And if not, it's all good. Enjoy the video. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello. Uh, so first, I just want to say thank you for hiring me on Upwork. I'm going to go ahead and do a critique of your Etsy shop and your Etsy listing here. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so right now we're on your Etsy shop. And the first thing I want to talk to you about is your first impression and branding. So the idea is, is that when someone goes to your store, they should just be able to look at your shop and know exactly what your shop is about and what you sell. And here it's kind of hard to understand because you're, you're missing a nice big banner photo. So here you want to add in a nice big banner photo showing uh, what it is that you sell. So if you're going to be selling bookmarks or if you're going to be selling metal um, products, you, know, you want to have photos of that and have some text to go along with it to really help people understand the products that you're selling. Let me just turn my fan down. Make sure you can hear me. Um, you also want to have a, lo a logo. I would recommend just a very simple, minimalist logo. Maybe you can just do like RJ or something in a circle, just something very simple, um, nice and clean. And then you also want to have a photo of yourself here. Let me show you some examples of some of the top selling stores on Etsy. If you go into E rank here, and you go in competition and click on top sellers, it's going to pull up the top 100 stores in every category that's on Etsy. And I was just going through the, um, the clothing ones and the jewelry ones. Let me just show you right here. So this is the type of first impression and a branding that you want, even though this isn't the niche that you're in, because I didn't really know what niche you're in because it's just one uh, listing. But uh, once you get more listings up, you know, you want to have something like this. You see how, how they have four photos they have some text. It's really easy to understand what this store is about and what they sell. Here's another example right here. Same thing. This style is very popular with the four photos like this. You know, very simple logo. And I'd probably do a better profile photo. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, no, that's not too good. Um, let's take a look at this. Store. So this is a jewelry store. Again, you come here and you can see exactly what's going on. You know exactly what this store is about. They sell jewelry. They have a nice, simple, minimalist logo. And then a good profile photo right here. And then one more, one more jewelry store. So here you can see how nice these banner photos are. You want to have a nice high-quality photo, high resolution, nice and bright. Uh, but this is what you should be going for when it comes to your shop. Nice banner photo, nice logo. And nice um, profile photo so I would recommend doing that um, second thing here is that you're missing an announcement so you want to have an announcement um, the announcement should be updated I like to update mine the first of every month let me just show you my store and my announcement so this is my store right here I sell t-shirts here are my t-shirts um, so I went with the branding theme. So I have all three photos matching. Gives a nice uh, professional and clean look. You can see here I have my announcement that's updated. Like I said, I like to have it for the first of the month. And the first thing that I say is have a question, send me a message. I usually respond within minutes. I like to have that because uh, have that first because I've noticed if, if I can get the people to uh, message me, I'm usually able to get the sale like nine out of ten times. And then I just have some bullet points uh, building the credibility of my store. So like everything in my shop comes with free shipping, production time, shipping time, how many happy customers and reviews I have, that I'm a family man, a small business owner, um, a call to action, and then links to my two other Etsy shops with emojis. So this is a pretty popular style right here. You can do something like this. You just want to have bullet points, um, you know, highlighting the perks of your store with some emo emojis. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, um, Review this listing here and take a look at your photos and this listing here in a second. I just want to continue on the home page. Um, so you only have one product, but as you get more products, you're going to want to uh, add in sections. Right? So if you start doing certain types of bookmarks or other types of uh, stainless steel products or other type of uh, silver products, you want to have each one of those products in a section. 
all right? Because that's going to make it easier for your customer to browse. And it's also going to give your customer, or it's also going to give your listings more exposure. If you look at my shop, for example, you will see that I have a lot of listings. I'm up to 1,500. And if someone's just looking for a school shirt, they can just click right here and click school. And it's going to take them to all my uh, school shirts. So it's easier for them to easier for them to browse and it gives uh, all my school shirts uh, more exposure. So make sure that you add in all your, that every listing that you have is in a section as you add more listings. Um, you got one review, good job. Here you're missing an about me section. So you wanna have an about me section explaining how you got into Etsy, your passion with making bookmarks or silver products, stainless steel products. Um, and you wanna have photos and a video or both, but at least photos. If you can't do a video, no big deal. You at least want to have uh, photos. And the photos should be of you uh, making your products, um, the materials that you use to make your products, your workstation. If you have a team that helps you, a team photo, or you can even do a family photo. I do that in one of my other stores as well. Um, let's take a look at, and see if I can show you some good examples of some other About Me photos to give you some ideas. So let's see what these guys got. Nope. These guys do not have one. Let's take a look at the next one. These guys. So these guys don't really have one either. Let's take a look at the jewelry stores. These guys should have one. So they got updates. Okay, then here you go. So here are like the type of photos that you want to have, you can see here, they're kind of showing the type of products that they have, how they make their jewelry. So these type of photos right here. And then you want to have a paragraph or two explaining your passion for bookmarks or silver products and how you got into Etsy. Let's take a look at another jewelry store, see what these guys have. Okay, so these guys have a video. Just kind of showing how they make their products, materials that they use, their workstation, <clears throat> more of their products, etc. And then you can see here they have some paragraphs. Then let me show you mine. So here you can see I'm showing how the how the t-shirts are printed, packaged, shipped, and printing press with some few paragraphs about how I got into Etsy. So nothing crazy. You just want to have some photos, video, or at least photos with some uh, text on how you got started on Etsy. And then here at the bottom, you're missing a lot of stuff. You want to add in like um, your uh, sh uh, shipping policies, your uh, returns and exchange policies, and also an FAQ. So it should look like this. I'll show you mine. So you want to have your shipping so people can know the processing time. Um, payment options I think you have, but returns and exchanges, you want to have all this filled out. And then you want to make sure you have a frequently asked question a section. So uh, just think of some questions that your customers might have for you about your, your bookmarks or your silver products. And just have like three to six questions that you want to have. So like, do you offer other colors besides black and navy? So just think of some questions and add in a frequently, a frequently asked questions section. Okay, but overall, I think it's a good start. You know, you just kind of need to fill it out more. Um, you need to get that banner photo in, a nice logo, get a profile, picture, um, write an announcement, uh, get some photos and a video or at least photos with some text for your About Me, and then fill all this stuff out at the bottom, especially the uh, returns and exchanges, shipping, and FAQ section. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and, well, let me see. I was taking some notes. Make sure I'm not missing anything. So notes, branding, announcement, about me, photos, Etsy layout photos. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about your photos. So besides the SEO, the uh, photos are very, very important, your, uh, and especially your thumbnails. Your thumbnails will make or break you. You have to have really good thumbnails. Your thumbnails have to be on point. So what makes a good thumbnail? A thumbnail is, a, is good when I can just look at the thumbnail and know exactly what the product is without having to read the title. It should be a very high-quality photo. 
It should have high resolution. It should have good lighting. It should be bright. It should pop. It should make me want to click on it. It should look like it's, it's out of a magazine. Um, it also shouldn't be cut off. The product uh, shouldn't be cut off at all. And uh, it helps if it has a white background. So I think this thumbnail is uh, pretty good. I like how it's kind of large so I can really see what it is. Um, but let me show you some examples of some other thumbnails for, um, for from your, com your uh, competitors. So I just typed in silver bookmark. And you can see here, this is pretty cool. I thought this was pretty cool with the bookmark against the books. And you can see here, it's a really high quality photo. It's got good lighting. It's bright. It's got the colors. It makes me want to click on it. Um, this one right here, you can see it's not that good. Oh, shoot. This one right here is not so good because I can't really see what the product is because it's cut off. It's got some um, bad lighting right here. There's a shadow. So this is not too good. I like this because I can really see the product well. It's kind of, it's been enlarged, it looks like. This is not so good because it's hard to see what it is. I don't really know what it is. This is really good because it's, um, you know, it's kind of in my face. I can see what it is. It's got a high quality photo. This one, it's kind of similar to yours, but this one isn't that good because the actual bookmark is very small. It's hard to see. Like, am I buying a book here or am I buying the bookmark? And I can't even, even really see the bookmark. This is good right here. So you want to um, take a look at your competitors and see what they're doing. And the shops that are successful, the listings are successful, you want to uh, do what they're doing. Let me see if I can show you some other good thumbnails from some other stores. Let's click out of that. So here, you know, you can just take a look at these thumbnails. You can see how, you know, they're good, high-quality photos. They're bright. They're light. Good lighting. Um, actually, I think the ones with the jewelry were the best. Yeah, so you can see how nice these are. These look like they're out of a magazine. And I think even the next jewelry store was even better. Right here. So again, you can just see the high quality photos, really clean, high resolution, good lighting, bright, makes me want to click on it. Um, so just, just think about that when you're making new listings, all right? That the thumbnail uh, is very important and it has to be a good quality photo that pops, looks like it's out of a magazine and makes you want to click on it. It should have good lighting and nothing should be cut off. It should be very easy to see the product. And if you can, you want to enlarge it. Just like with me right here, you can see my thumbnails these are for my t-shirts these are actually enlarged I've, I've, I've brought them out a little bit but you can see they got the white background good lighting it's bright you can see the whole uh, design and when you see this you know exactly that this is a t-shirt so back to your store here okay let's see what did I want to talk about next um, so I think it was well, actually, let's just go ahead and look at this listing. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about your photos. So let's see what you got here. One. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, so good. Um, the only thing I would probably recommend for your photos here is that if you can, add in more photos. So they give us third, there are now 10 photo slots. You want to make sure you're using all 10. And if you can, you want to do a video as well. Um, but I think these photos are pretty good. Actually, I think this could be your, your thumbnail, maybe. If you were to enlarge it, I think that's a pretty good thumbnail because it's got good lighting. You know, it's bright. It's a good quality photo. This is good quality, too. Good quality. Another thing you can do, um, if you run out of photo slots, you can do, like, infographics. So here's one of my shirts. Here's the video. I'll show you the video real quick. You know, my store name, why us, over 4,000 sales, 800 reviews, top 1% Etsy seller. Tell them to check out our, our reviews, production time, shipping time. Send us a message. You know, I'm trying to get them to engage with me. But if you have, um, you know, if you have some extra spaces for photos, you can do something like what I've done here where you have infographics. Talking about production time, shipping time, building the credibility of my shop. And then I say, want more information, read the description, send me a message, favorite my shop, ask me about custom orders. So that's an idea there that you could do since it looks like you have some extra photo slots available. 
But the, the idea with the photos, you know, I can't stress this enough. You have to have very high quality photos because, you know, the customer can't hold the, the bookmark. You know, they can't hold it. They can't touch it. So all they have to go off of is your photos. That's why your photos have to be on point. They have to be really high quality photos with um, good lighting, good resolution, high resolution, and things like that. So you can always take a look at your competitors or some of the best selling stores and take a look at their photos to kind of see you know, the quality, you know, you want to think of like uh, out of a magazine. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at your SEO. So the idea with the SEO is that you want to use keywords or, yeah, or keywords in your title that are auto-suggested by Etsy, um, relevant to your product and loan competition. So let's take a look at this uh, keyword that you have right here. So the first thing that we can see is that it's not being auto-suggested by Etsy. So I probably wouldn't use this keyword. But I bet you if you go maybe bookmark silver, see if anything pops up. Bookmark silver. Okay, so nothing, but let's try silver bookmark. Silver book. Oh, that's weird. Popped up for me last time. Bookmark. Bookmark. Metal. Metal bookmark. Right before I did this, um, our recording, I, I did, uh, I revised your title for you. So metal. And I basically found a bunch of keywords. So here's a keyword right here that you want to use because you can see that it's um, auto suggested by Etsy. It's relevant to your product and it's probably low in competition. So here you can see there's only 3,000 results. So this would be a really good um, keyword to use. Let's see if we can find another one. Silver. There it is. Okay. For some reason, it wasn't popping up when I first tried, but you can see right here. So I would use this keyword instead of what you had, um, what you originally have. And so you can see it's auto-suggested by Etsy. It's relevant to your product and the competition. Let's take a look at this. You always want to look at the competition and see how many results there are. So 26. So it's a little higher, but still not too bad. And I'll show you some ways of how you can get this down even lower. Um, and let's just go over the title that I made for you, which is, I actually have it right here. So this is it right here, silver bookmark, bookmark silver, steel bookmark, metal bookmark, metal bookmarks, bookmark metal, bookmark for men, bookmark men metal. And every one of these keywords is auto-suggested by Etsy, uh, low in competition and relevant to your product. So I will obviously send this to you so that you can use it. Um, one thing I would recommend though is I wouldn't just go in and just take this title that I'm going to send you and just start editing this current listing. And the reason why is if you look at the URL and if you look at the title, you'll see that they match. So you hear it says bookmark stainless steel silver. It matches with the URL. So if you just take, if you just copy and paste this title that I made for you right here and edit this current listing, the new title isn't going to match with the URL and that's going to confuse Etsy. And that's very bad for SEO. Um, this listing is going to stop getting views, stop getting sales. So I would not recommend editing your current listing. What I would recommend that you do is you make a duplicate listing. So if you go to your listing, you're going to see that there's this listing tools bar. What you want to do is you want to click on copy and that's going to copy the, the listing or make a duplicate of the listing. It's going to duplicate the photos, um, the description, the categories, everything. And then once you've uh, made the, then once you've uh, clicked on this button, then you can go ahead and, and copy and paste this title that I made for you right here and put it into the, to the copy listing. All right. And when you do that, you're going to start off fresh and a fresh listing will always perform better than if you edit a current listing. So let's just go ahead and hit clap, copy right here so you can see. So 
So you can see what Etsy has done. They've just basically made a, a, a duplicated listing. And you can see right here, that you know it's a duplicate because it says copy right at the end. All right. So once you have this open, then you can go ahead and take this title that I made for you, copy and paste it, and put it in that, that way. All right. So I hope that made sense. Um, the point I'm trying to make is don't edit your current listings. Make duplicate listings. All right. Um, let's keep keep taking a look at this listing so your description okay so your description is looking a little uh, slim you know I'd probably beef this up a little bit um, you want to take your title copy and paste it and have it as the first thing in the description that will help you with the SEO um, on Google that will help you get found on Google so I just go ahead and click on this listing right here you will see that the title that I have, you see this title right here, Four Years Breast Cancer, it's the first thing in the description, right? That helps getting found on SEO. So I would recommend doing that. And so pretty good, but you wanna add in more information. Like you can use mine as an example. So you can do something like uh, how to order, shipping time, returns and refunds, questions, custom order, links. Um, you know, and then I give information on the actual product that I'm selling. So we're just trying to give the customer as much information as, product, as possible to help them make a, a buying decision. And then let's take a look at your tags. So, okay, the, the thing that I know is first is the, it's good is that you're using all 13 tags. Um, but, you know, you want to use the keywords that you use in your title, you want to use as your tags. You want them to match. And the reason you want them to match is because when they match, that really helps Etsy understand what your product is. And it's going to be easier for Etsy to promote it and to sell it. So all the keywords, or, yeah, all the keywords that you have in your title, you want to have them in your tags as well. And so if you look at the tags that I came up or that I made for you, you'll see that almost all of them are the same as your title. All right. So that's very important to make sure that your keywords. In your title match your tags and I would I would uh, recommend staying away from just one word tags because when you do one word tags it's just too um, too vague it's not giving us enough information like with gift or silver things like that you want to use keywords that are like two or three words long tail keywords and if you look at the tags I made for you you'll see that they're all two words this is three words you know there's not there's not one tag that's just one word you want to stay away from one word tags Okay, what else do we got here? Let's keep going. SEO, title tags, sales, and free shipping. So if I go back to your store here, um, you know, this product is not on sale and it's not on free shipping. I would recommend that everything in your store is on free shipping and on sale all the time. If you look at my shop, you can see here that everything is on sale and, and everything is on free shipping. And there's two reasons why I do that. One, is because it'll help me get clicked on more. It'll help my click-through rate. When people type in cancer t-shirt and they have all the listings up on the search page and they see, they see mine that says free shipping and 20% off, it's gonna help me get clicked on more. But more importantly, it helps me get found in search when people use the filters. Because if I'm a potential customer and I type in silver, silver bookmark, Remember, there is 26,000 listings or 26,000 results. But there's a lot of savvy Etsy customers that shop using these filters. So if I were to come in here and click on free shipping and on sale and hit apply, you're going to see this 26,000 probably drop down to like 9,000, 8,000, oh, okay, all the way down to 2,000. So we just got rid of like 24,000, 23,000 other competitors. Now it's a lot easier to get on the first page. It's a lot easier to compete. And it's a lot easier to get your listing in front of more people all right, um, that are using the filters. So that's why I would recommend that you do a 24 hour lit. Or, uh, that's why I would recommend you do everything on sale and on free shipping all the time. And I would also recommend that you do 24 hour sales. The reason why you want to do 24 hour sales 
is because you get this green box right here that says sale ends in five hours. And this is really important because it creates urgency. It's called fear of loss. Uh, people are going to be in fear that if they don't make the purchase, they're going to lose out on the deal. So you want to do 24 hour sales. And the way you do that is you go into your shop manager and you click on marketing, sales and coupons, a new special offer. You want to click run sale. I like to do 20%. Today's the 8th. So if you want to do one for tomorrow, you go October 9th to October 9th. You're going to hit continue, add in your sections, and then you're going to get this little green box right here that says sale ends in five hours. And this is really uh, important or powerful to have because it's going to create urgency. Um, and then if you want to do free shipping, which I would also recommend, is just need to get out of here real quick. Yes. You want to go to your settings. You're going to go to shipping settings. And then from here, you're going to click on shipping profiles. And what you want to do is you want to create a, a new shipping profile. So you click add profile. You're basically going to fill all this stuff out. And then you want to click on free domestic shipping or even free international. I do both, but. Some, some people don't want to do free international, so uh, but at least free domestic shipping, and then that way you'll be able to get the the free shipping uh, little sticker on your listings, all right? And also you'll be able you'll get found more in search, so that's how you set that up. Um, okay, what else did I want to talk about? Etsy ads. So I don't know if you're doing Etsy ads, but I would recommend that you do Etsy ads. I'm doing three dollars and ninety nine cents a day. Um, I'm able to get profitable at that amount, but if you can do more. Do more like 5, 10, 15, 20. See how it goes for 30 days and then kind of find your sweet spot. But Etsy ads are good because they're going to um, get your listing. Your listing or listings more exposure. Get your listing in front of more people, more eyeballs. Um, okay. What else do we got here? Reviews. So I saw you had one review, so good job. Let's check it out. Let's translate to English. Nice design and stays well on my books. Arrive on time. Without shipping costs. Okay, so good job. If you look at my store here, I have a pretty good amount of reviews. I'm up to 857. And a lot of the re reviews are like this that I just got a little bit ago. Where it says, excellent customer service. The shop really cares and followed up several times to make sure I was aware of shipment time and also to check on my satisf satisfaction of the item. I would highly recommend these guys. So a lot of people leave uh, similar reviews to this uh, where they leave photos like this right here. And it's not because I'm special or anything. Um, every customer that I get, I send them four specific messages. And these are the messages right here. Get this out of the way. So you want to make sure that you have the uh, Etsy seller app. So that every time you get a sale, you hear you get the ka-ching sound. And when you get the ka-ching sound, you want to send them this first message right here that says, uh, Hello, thank you so much for your purchase. I will send you a tracking link once I have it. If for any reason there's a problem when you receive your order, send me a message so I can fix it ASAP. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, thanks again and take care, Mike. So this is a good message to send just to acknowledge that you actually received the order. But it's also a really good message to send to avoid getting negative reviews because if something happens to their order, if it gets lost or if it's damaged when they receive it, instead of them going straight to Etsy and leaving you a nasty one-star review, you've already planted the seed to come to you first. So you have the opportunity to at least fix the problem. So it's a good message to send to avoid getting negative reviews. And then the second message is once you have the tracking link, you want to send it to them. So you want to say, hello, I want to let you know that your order has been shipped and it's on its way. I've copied and pasted the tracking link below so you can track your order. Thanks so much and have a great day, Mike. And then you copy and paste the tracking link. So this is a really good message to send also because um, you're letting them know what's up with the order, where the order's at, and you're giving them a resource for them to attract the order. Uh, people love this type of communication and barely anybody on Etsy is even doing this. So um, you know, I would recommend sending the second message. And every time, not every time, but a lot of the times I send this message, I get a lot of thank yous uh, responded to me. And then the third message, you want to go into your orders and you want to click on completed and then filter by delivered. 
you want to send this third message right here saying, hello, I saw that your order arrived. I want to make sure you're happy with your purchase. If there is something wrong with your order, kindly let me know so I can fix it ASAP. If you absolutely love it and only if you have the time, it would really help me if you could leave a quick and honest review about my service and the quality of the product. We love to see people wearing our apparel and selfies are highly appreciated. Thanks so much and have a great day, Mike. Um, so this is how I'm able to get those long paragraph reviews with uh, photos. And then the fourth message, again, you want to have it set up so that you get notified on your phone when you get a review. And when you get a review, you want to send them this fourth message right here saying, hello, I just saw the awesome review you left. I wanted to thank you so much for taking the time to do that. I really appreciate it, Mike. So uh, this is a nice way to um, end the sale on a good note, button up the deal, and express some appreciation for your customer for leaving a nice five-star review for you. And then a couple of side notes is you want to make sure to use their first name in each message. So hello, John. Hello, Mary. And then you want to make sure to use your first name at the end of each message. So Mike. So I will go ahead and I'll add this or I'll send this to you so that you can use it as well. Um, you know, I'm kind of more like serious and to the point. But like, if you want to use humor and emojis, feel free to chop it up. Make it fit your personality, your brand, your shop, you know, your style. All right, what else do we got here? Custom message. So there's a, I get a lot of people that send me messages asking if I can, um, you know, do certain things for them. And there's a certain way that I've been responding that's getting me the sale like nine out of ten times. And I'll go ahead and share that with you real quick. So let me just get out of here. Go to orders. We'll just wait for it to load. My internet's a little slow. Um, come on. Let's go. Okay, there we go. So, well, one thing I want to say is that these messages that I just talked to you about, about how to get reviews, you can actually have them as snippets right here. You might already know this or not, but in case you didn't, you can have them pre-made right here. So you can just click on them. It's a, it'll save you a lot of time. You just have to type in the name. But let's say this person sent me a message about a custom order. This is how I would respond. I would say... Hello, John. Hello, Mary. I would be more than glad to customize this for you. Please go ahead and make the purchase. And in the notes to the seller, kindly type in the exact text you'd like on the shirt. Thank you for considering my shop, and I cannot wait to get started on this for you. So this is a good message to send because you're basically like holding them by the hand and guiding them and telling them, yeah, I'd be happy to make the purchase for you. Um, or I'd be happy to customize this for you. Uh, make the purchase and then give me the instructions. All right? A lot of the time, customers are kind of like sheep and they need to be guided and told what to do. So this is a good message to send when people are inquiring about one of your products. So feel free to use it. I think it'll help you out. I know it's helped me. And then what else do we got here? So three SEO tricks. So there's things you can do to kind of get yourself bumped up in the uh, rankings a little bit. And if you look right here, you might have seen this, the new uh, Star Seller badge. So you want to make sure that you're responding to your messages as quickly as possible. Um, you don't want to wait longer than 24 hours. If you see here, they punished me because I responded to one message after 24 hours. Um, you also want to make sure that you're getting those five-star reviews. That's why it's very important to send those reviews. And if you're offering a good product um, and a good service, there's nothing wrong with asking for a review. And then you want to make sure everything's shipped out on time. And if you're above 95% in all three of these categories, you get this star badge right here. And it's going to make your shop look very credible and very professional because they're going to see that, you know, this seller sets a shining example for pro providing a great customer experience with a history of five-star reviews, on-time shipping, and quick replies. So, um, you know, this is going to set you apart from the competition. I think it says the same thing here. Yeah, pretty much the same. So, yeah, you want to try and get 95% on all three of those categories. Recap. Okay, let's just go ahead and, uh, oh no, three steps to the sale. I forgot that. So there's three steps to getting sales on Etsy. And basically the first step is that you have to get found. So how do you get found? You get found by using or by having really good SEO, really good keywords, keywords that are auto-suggested by Etsy, low in competition. And um, 
sorry, I got a little distracted by that message. Um, so that are low in competition, relevant to your product, and auto suggest by Etsy. All right. So those keywords that I came up uh, for you right here, those are all low in competition, relevant to your product, and auto suggest by Etsy. So that's the first step is you have to get found. Then the second step is that um, you have to get clicked on. So how do you get clicked on? You get clicked on by having really good thumbnails. That's why I was trying to uh, express to you that's very important to have thumbnails that look like they're out of a magazine, that pop, that make you want to click on them, you know, that are high quality, bright, good lighting, etc. And then the third step is that, you know, you have to get them to buy. So once they've clicked on your thumbnail and they're looking at your listing, you have to get them to buy. So how do you get them to buy? You get them to buy by having really high quality photos because they can't hold your product, they can't touch your product, all they have to go off of is the photos. That's why your photos have to be on point. Um, you also want to make sure that you have reviews with photos because once they see those or read those reviews and see those photos, that's going to give them confidence to, uh, to make the purchase that they're not going to get burned, that other people are happy with it and they'll be happy with it too. And then you want to make sure that you're doing those 24 hour sales to create that urgency. So when you're making this duplicate listing here, or when you're making new listings, uh, duplicated listings, yeah, and new listings, just think about that. You have to get found, you have to get uh, clicked on, and you have to get them to buy. And everything that we've talked about in this past half hour or so will help you accomplish that. So let's just do a quick recap of your store before we wrap it up here. Um, so you got a good, a good shop here. It's a good start. But, you know, the main thing is, uh, you know, it's, it needs to be filled out more. So you need to get that cover photo, logo, add in a profile pic. You need to get an announcement. I would probably add in some more um, listings if you can. Um, you know, you want to have an about me and fill out all that stuff at the bottom, like your shipping policies, your returns and refunds, and your FAQ section. Then once you get that done, you know, I would make a duplicate of this listing with the keywords that I made for you right here, the new title and the tags, all right? And you can even maybe switch out the switch out the, the thumbnail and you can use maybe this photo instead and you can see how that performs all right and then i would just keep both of those listings for about 30 days see which one's working better and after 30 days you can get rid of the underperforming um, listing and yeah so that's basically what i think you need to work on is just getting some more listings up and just make sure that you you're, you're using high quality photos high quality thumbnails and you're using good seo seo with words or keywords that are auto suggested by Etsy, low in competition and relevant to your product. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a message. I'd be more than glad to uh, help you out. Um, if you think I did a good job, I'd really appreciate an honest review. And yeah, thanks again for hiring me on Upwork. So I will uh, talk to you later. And thanks again for hiring me. Okay, bye bye.